What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lil Mike Bike Six, and I'm back once again. And I'm playing another gameplay of Call of Duty Ghost, and this time we were playing another set of trash talkers. I don't know what it is about PlayStation 3 and playing Call of Duty. You run into oh so many tryhards, and to be honest, I'm I'm not even a tryhard at all. I used to be a pretty intense gamer. Like I used to play pretty good, like on purpose, just just to try to go in and beast people. But lately, I've just become like a casual gamer. Now, what I really wanted to talk about was lately, since Call of Duty has mostly been a flop, like since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has been a bad game, it actually has not been bad for me. Uh, it's actually been a pretty good experience. I actually like that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare flopped, and I'll explain everything right now <laughs> and some of you some of you this might actually happen to you guys yourselves and it might have actually benefited some people and for those y'all who don't know I'm actually enrolling well I've, I've already pretty much enrolled in school I'm, I'm about to go to college I'm headed into college uh, right now I'm about to be 25 I turned 25 on the 21st of this month and uh, since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has flopped it has actually allowed me to take more time away from Call of Duty. See, because when normally when a Call of Duty comes out and I love the game, I just can't stay away from it. I just have to play it. I mean, it's, it's, sometimes they just become so fun, it's just hard to get away from. Well, since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is not an enjoyable game and I really do not care to play it at all, it's almost like... Um, I'm just kind of like, well, hey, I can go live my life now, <laughs> and I don't, I don't feel like I'm missing out on something, and that's kind of, because when you play like Call of Duty Black Ops, when a new map packs come out, everybody wants to be on those map packs to learn those map packs so they can rape everybody who comes in later on, or everybody wants to be beasting during the life cycle of the game because once the next game comes, so you really don't want to delay because every this Call of Duty is a is a kind of like a rotating cycle. Well. The cycle has been broken with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So now this kind of allows me to get away from gaming for a while so I can focus on life. And um, so I'm actually headed to college. Uh, this will be my first year in college. I've never been to college before, so this will be my first year. And everything's looking pretty good. I've already taken care of everything. Um, I, I believe it's going to be a pretty good experience. And... You know, some people might actually have the same thing happen to them in their lives, you know, um, since because I've seen a lot of my friends really don't play Call of Duty anymore. A lot of people kind of sway away from the game. A lot of people really don't even get online anymore. And um, but uh, it, it just kind of helps me focus on my life outside of the game. And uh, I've also uh, si signed back up to the gym. I started back working out. Uh, Cause I stopped working out for a while, and I actually started to uh, pick up weight. Uh, I really didn't do much, and I actually picked up a lot of weight when I was a truck driver. I gained, uh, I gained around about 60 pounds, and right now I've actually lost 50. So um, I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost right back to having all of it lost. Uh, so I'm about 50 pounds lighter now, right now, and. Um, that's something that's that's been good for me since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare came out. So this is actually not a, a bad thing with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm actually, I don't want to say I'm glad that it flopped because I wanted a good Call of Duty, but it's a good thing for me that it flopped. So, hey, and if Black Ops 3 flops, then um, it won't be so bad on me either because I kind of look at it in a perspective of if it flops, then that means that's just that just means that I know I'm not missing out on anything. And I can spend more time away from the game, accomplishing more things in life outside of the game. And then potentially once I get my life in a better shape and suit, because a lot of you who's been following me for a long time or, you know, just being a subscriber with me for a long time, probably noticed a lot of job changes for me. I've changed a lot of jobs. Um, when I first started uploading YouTube, uploading to YouTube, I believe I was working... I was working at a Walmart <laughs> and uh, I hate to admit that but because uh, people are really judgmental and sometimes when you say like oh I used to work at Walmart people automatically assume like oh you're you're an idiot uh, only idiots work at Walmart with big heads and uh, you know whatever but that's that's not the case there are some really intelligent people who work at Walmart 
they're really intelligent people who work all kind of places. People just really miss misguided, misdirected, and everybody goes through a phase. And for those of y'all who don't know, I was raised in the hood. I didn't. My, I mean, like I've really never had anything, much of anything. I've not really known anything uh, except for just how to live life. But I'm pretty intelligent. I teach myself a lot, so uh, I'm pretty smart. And look at this. I get beasted by this dude right here. And this is one of the tryhards. And these guys were talking trash from the beginning of the game to the end, like I mentioned at the beginning of the commentary. Uh, I wasn't even talking trash to these guys. They just started talking trash to me. Why? I have no idea. I guess they look at my ratio or whatever, kill-death ratio, and they just start talking trash. But uh, they, they told us they were going to make us uh, rage quit and back out of the match. And the reason they said this is because if you guys saw the video that we made before, the video before this video that's out now, the one that I posted yesterday, the people that we played, we beat them and they were pretty much like they rage quit. They all rage quit after we beat them. Uh, they all left the match, and then we got thrown in with these guys. Well, these guys here, um, they heard us laughing, saying, oh, these guys are talking so much trash, and they rage quit after talking all this trash and saying they were going to beast us. They even tried blocking us in the corner. We were laughing because it's so funny. I've never had anybody block me in the corner and still solo come back and clutch the entire round for my team. I've never done anything like that before. And I just thought it was really hilarious, and we were kind of just laughing and talking about it. And I was, like, telling them about the guy being caught in the corner. And then these guys jump in, and they hear us talking about it. And their immediate thoughts, this guy, the first thing one of the guys said was, um, oh, you made somebody rage quit? Well, we're going to make you guys rage quit. So they get in the match. They go super try hard. They start beasting us the first few rounds. And uh, they, they really believe that the game is just going to be like, oh, a destruction, just a destroy match. They thought they were just going to completely destroy us. And things didn't go their way. It didn't go like they thought it was going to go. Um, as, you, as you guys can see, I'm, your boy is camping right here. I haven't been playing Call of Duty much, so I'm not as good and as crisp, as fast reacting as I used to be. And look at this. Beast him right here. And uh, one of his teammates is going to try to come and help him out. But uh, once he runs over here, I'm going to beast him too. Look at that. Just dropping them, but uh, we still end up losing the match, and they're just screaming in their microphones. The two tryhards were pretty much already out of the game. Two of the two of the tryhards on the other team, we already had them killed. But um, it was just me and Molly, and I kept I kept trying to tell her. I said, "Let's just go grab C and get the flag back," but she didn't she didn't want to do it. So we end up uh, I try to kill this guy right here. Look at this beast him, and I get the get the flag, get my team back in. We could have won the match, but check this out. <laughs> My teammates, they just kind of, they just kind of fell. I told them, I said, "Hey, let's all rush to A. They're, you know, they're going to go to A." Uh, some of my teammates didn't really follow suit and listen. Uh, I tried b dropping ballistic vest right here uh, to try to go in and prepare for war. But I mean, this guy spawned his whole team back in, and I die immediately right, right off the spawn. And uh, I, knew, I just kind of knew my teammates weren't going to be able to, like, I knew they weren't going to go for the flag because they never do. Look at this. She tries to pretty much solo it. I, I was kind of hoping that they would go for the flag and try to spawn us back in but they really didn't uh, they didn't care too much i was the only one really spawning anybody back in as <laughs> you probably you probably can tell by looking at the captures uh, that i was the only one who was like putting people back in the game to try to make it to where we could win this game look at this this guy's reaction time is so slow evo lancer just was horrible at this game he was he was just completely horrible um he he just gets destroyed absolutely destroyed no hardly any kills ever but um so then we lose the round right here and they talk so much trash they're like oh yeah we beasted you like we told you we beast you. you know it was a close game and it wasn't as bad as they thought they thought they were going to just destroy us because of the lead they got early on but it wasn't it wasn't like they thought it was going to be um, i'm actually i'm actually kind of proud of being able to bring my team back like that and i actually became uh, highest in score for the game anyways even though he got more kills than me i still end up highest for score so, um, once this game starts right here, you're going to see your boy make them rage quit. I come in here and I, I go I go super try hard on them right here. I'm not going to lie. I went try hard on them. And uh, I, actually, I actually was successful. I made their team rage quit. And it's pretty funny because they talk so much trash about making us rage quit. They rage quit and then they tried to deny saying that they did not rage quit, that they got lagged out, whatever. But uh, the funniest thing is the guy, S S A O two uh 
Carrito, whatever his name is, underscore Carrito. Well, he basically asked the other tryhard, which is Dream Cowboy. He asked him, he said, hey, you know, uh, these guys are, are fags. you want to bag out? And then, you know, Dream Cowboy, I heard him in his microphone. I could hear it clear, clear as day. He says, yes, yes, let's, let's get out of here. Um, and this was right after I killed him. You'll see. As soon as I kill, as soon as I kill S A O O two, you'll hear. Like you'll see his microphone c come up on the microphone, and then he'll leave out. Like they'll leave immediately after. And that's exactly how the conversation went. I heard every word they were saying because once I killed one of them, somehow I, I could hear the other one through his TV. And so they bagged out. And uh, once they bagged out, I don't know if I died and heard them. Or if I was still alive, and but I, I know I could hear their voices though. Somehow I could hear their voices. I think it was because it was the time of when you first kill that person, you can hear them like saying something to the other player, and uh, so they back right out and start. I start. I start immediately sending them messages, talking trash to them, saying like, "Oh, you know what happened to you making us bag out? What happened to this and that and this and that?" And they're they're all denying it, like, "Oh no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't bag out." You know, uh, you was. We just lagged out, you know, and I was, whatever. That's that's the normal excuse people throw out there these days is, oh, we lagged out, we didn't bag out, we lagged out. But once I told him that I heard him uh, say that they lagged out, then he, he didn't admit that, but he blamed it on his teammate. He blamed it on his friend. He says, oh, well, he bagged out, not me. Well, you didn't lag out like you initially tried to make it seem. Well, <laughs> but, so look at this. I'll go ahead and kill SA802 right here. And that's where he uh, kind of goes in. The, you see his microphone come up right there. And look at that host migration. This is so funny. Uh, uh, that's what I was talking about. His microphone came up on the screen. And that's when they bagged right out. So those guys were super tryhards. And then he's going to try to make it seem like. And you'll see. You'll see in the messages. I'll start actually sending a message. I'll actually stop playing after this round. Because I really didn't care about this game here. I just want I was just wanting to get my revenge the satisfaction of knowing that a trash talker was bested was good enough for me instead of the win so immediately I go to dream cowboy which was the first trash talker the, the main trash talker um, and then SA is the was the host leader so check this out I start sending them messages but as you guys read the messages uh, I'll go ahead and finish telling you guys uh, a few things about you know like like schooling and stuff like that well but anyway since black ops 3 is coming out i'm not necessarily looking forward to it because i've kind of gotten into the mode of not feeling like i have to be on call of duty call of duty now just kind of feels like a hobby at first it felt like i was a competitive player like i had to be online to stay the best i felt like i had to be competing against other players in the world to be the best at this game that's how I kind of felt at the at the beginning. Like when I first started playing Call of Duty, I'm not gonna lie, I did think that I was one of the best players out there, and I I didn't really brag so much like some people do, and I didn't think that I could be like the top player in the world. I definitely knew knew or known that I was not like the top best player in the world, but I did most definitely feel like I was extremely extremely good. But uh, and look at this, I I come over here and wait on this guy check this out i hear his footsteps and just go ahead and spray him down right there but um i definitely knew that i was not the best player in the world but i i, I definitely felt like i was good enough to beast the majority of the casual players that i played against um, look at this he says besides i never lose but after i told him ha ha you know rage quit he says yeah i never lose but then i go ahead and tell him yeah it's because you rage quit you rage quit before you could take that l he was going to take that L, so they went ahead and rage quit. But, anyways, like I was saying, you know, this is this has actually been a good experience. And I actually want to know if you guys, if since Call of Duty Modern Warfare, well, not Modern Warfare, I almost said Modern Warfare 3. But uh, since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has been such a flop, and I've noticed a lot of people has not been playing. For the people who actually stopped playing at Modern Warfare 3, or for the people who stopped playing at Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, me, I stopped playing Sledgehammer Call of Duties at Modern Warfare 3 pretty much anyways. So, for the people who stopped playing at Advanced Warfare, or for the people who stopped playing at Call of Duty Ghost, you know, just let me know, did, did you guys think that it was beneficial in making it easier for you guys to enjoy your life outside of the game? 
uh, because you didn't feel like you were missing out, just you know, just kind of let me know in the comment section, share your stories with me, or did you feel like you were kind of pissed off because that was the one thing that you look forward to and the one thing that you wanted to be doing with your time was playing, you know, Call of Duty at that moment and in that moment in time or whatever. But yeah, I mean, so far I've been enjoying a lot of basketball. I've been playing some basketball, kind of staying away from Call of Duty. Uh, I kind of hate that I've been had. Look at this, and we, we end up getting the four zero sweep right there. But uh, two of their team, two of the guys did leave anyways. And look at that, I pull off a nice little six and one. But I really want to know what you guys think, and you know, I, I really want to know how other people feel. I want to know if everybody else felt the same way about Advanced Warfare as I felt about Advanced Warfare. Or, you know, if that's just me, if that's just only something that Lil Mike Mike 6 does. Being away from Call of Duty has definitely benefited me uh, so far. Um, I've spent a lot more time in my job. I'm working a whole lot more hours. I've kind of settled in more. Because before, I used to, like, say, like, my job would always ask me, hey, you want to work more hours? Or, hey, you want to work for more money or whatever? And I would, I would just pretty much say, like, eh, nah, I got stuff to do. And then I would just come home and play the game. It was just pretty, pretty stupid. Um, I was pretty much missing out on money for a video game. So I was like, eh, you know. So since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare kind of flopped, it, it's kind of taken the moment, like the, it's kind of taken away the spirit for the game for me, if that makes any sense. I, I don't know if you guys understand exactly what I'm trying to say is, but even if they do come out with a good Call of Duty, now that I'm not in that rhythm of just all day Call of Duty, it has to be Call of Duty, it has to be Call of Duty, I don't think that now I'll be in that same, I don't have that passion for Call of Duty like I did once before. I don't have that passion. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I am not going to lie. I did get that passion for Mortal Kombat X. Um... And it got to the point where I was playing Mortal Kombat X so much, and I was doing so much in Mortal Kombat X that I actually had to try to step away from it so I, didn't, I, I wouldn't become so much hooked into Mortal Kombat X like I did with Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Because if you guys knew me in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, I was an intense gamer on there. So intense that I wouldn't do anything other than play Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Literally, I would go to work, come straight home, hop straight on the game, play the game, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even move out the seat. Like my my girlfriend, if she was here right now, she could tell you I would just order pizza, or whatever. I would not move for anything. All I did was play Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Um, I got so good at the game, I learned every single character. I just loved that game for some reason, and I know a lot of people hate it, but I loved it. But, um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I want to thank everybody for watching. I enjoyed making this video. I thought it was pretty funny, pretty hilarious. And, you know, share your stories with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. You know, I want to thank you guys for watching, checking out my videos, and peace.